Welcome to Mendeley video course. You're watching video number 10, creating a Mendeley library import using citation file. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import references using a PubMed citation file. There are two steps here. First, you have to export all the references from PubMed into a PubMed citation file. There are options, I will show you that. And once we have the PubMed citation file, we have to import that citation file into Mendeley Desktop. Let's go for a live demonstration. Let's say we are in PubMed. Now we have uh, <coughs> searched for all publications uh, by uh, Shape Day HD, and uh, we have got a total of 44 publications here. Now, let's try and export all these 44 publications into a PubMed citation file. How do we do that? Can you see here, send to, click on that, and you can click on citation manager. It says generate a file for use with external citation management software. So, I can, you can just look at this number to send. It varies, but the maximum of 200 references it can send in one file. So I just say create a file. When I do that, I get this window. It asks me the name of the file is citations.nbib and it is asking me whether I want to open it or save it. I'm going to say I want to save this file. Say OK. Now this file is downloaded into my default downloads folder. If you see here, this is in my default downloads folder. I can click there and this is where it is in the downloads folder. Now the next step is I go to Mendeley and all I have to do is go to file, import and import Bibtex. Go to downloads folder. I don't see the file yet because the extension is .bib. So I here I go and choose PubMed citation file. And when I choose that, I can see this file now. Now I can just say open. And all those 44 papers are now into my Mendeley desktop. 44 documents successfully imported. Is this clear? Now there is another option. If I go back to PubMed, as you can see here, we had only 44 references and we could use this option. Let's say sometimes you conduct systematic reviews and in that, when you have literature, it can run into thousands of papers that you may have to review. Now one of the disadvantages of using a PubMed citation file is that one file can accommodate a maximum of only 200 citations or 200 references. So if you have, let's say, a thousand references, then you will have to do it five times before you get everything into Mendeley. Now there's another efficient option which does not limit itself by the number of references. And that is to create a Medline file. So here, send to instead of citation manager you can say file and the format you can choose it as a medline file if you choose this format doesn't matter how many is the number of references you will get everything in a single file now let's let's try that let's say i'm going to look for all publications by Ari Sedi and on tuberculosis in title or in abstract. Let's search how many articles do we find. Okay, I see now there are 350 publications by the author Harry Sedi on tuberculosis, with tuberculosis term being present either in the title or in the abstract. Now, as I said, if I have to go by PubMed citation file, I'll have to do it at least twice. Now, instead of that, what I'll do is, 
I'm going to say send to file and choose medline format and then say create a file. Now immediately it comes and I say OK. I can now go to downloads folder. You can see I have a new file. It's called pubmedresult.txt. It's a text file. You can open it in, in Notepad. And you can see here all the articles are properly exported in this file. Now, all I have to do is go to Mendeley and import all of these. There are two ways. One is I have already showed you. I can do this. Import big text. Choose the file format and, and do it. Or I can also use the option add file. Add file, choose the file, and then say open. In no time, all 350 documents have been successfully in, imported. To summarize, this is a great way to import large number of references. We saw two formats. One is NBIB file, which is also known as the PubMed citation file. It's very good, but it has a limitation that it can only hold a maximum of 200 records per file. The other option is Medline file, which has really no limit. It's a great way to share references with peers. If you want to share a collection of references with your colleagues, this is a great way. It helps in importing references from other reference managers, this option. So let's say you are using EndNote or Zotero and you have a library built there. And you want to bring that from there into Mendeley. You can do that. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> in the next video, we are going to show you how to create a Mendeley library by importing references from Mendeley database or Mendeley catalog. Thanks for watching.